RGB versus CMYK. Heck, why even have two color spaces at all? RGB stands for red, green, blue. It is electronically created with light and basically used for computer monitors and digital photography. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. It's what commercial printers use to create full color images with ink on paper. Hi, this is Bob from WePrintDirectForLess.com. We would like to be your source for high quality, low cost, four color printing fast. This is a quick review about the color wheel and color theory. When you combine red and blue, it makes violet. When you combine red and yellow, it makes orange. When you combine blue and yellow, it makes green. RGB uses values from 0 to 255 for a total of 256 total values per color. In theory, RGB can give us 16,777,216 colors. With Adobe Illustrator, we can easily show you the values and relationships between colors. As we adjust the sliders in the upper right-hand box, you can see the colors change. This shows the relationship between red light, green light, and blue light, and how they change colors when they are combined. The value 255, 255, and 255 gives us white light. RGB is much more versatile than CMYK. That's why most digital photography is done in RGB. CMYK uses percentages to differentiate between the colors. Here we are showing the relationship of the colors in CMYK. CMYK can only reproduce about 70% of the colors that RGB can. Printers have found out that going over 240% coverage will make the paper hard to dry. 100% black is fine when it's a font. However, if you want full coverage black on a page, you'll want to use what we call rich black. Rich black is 30% of cyan, magenta, and yellow, and 100% black. Different printers have different formulas for rich black. If you use another printer other than WePrintDirectForLess.com, you'll have to check with them. Don't worry, we've got this all written down on our home page.